All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. I'm just going to have a news item for you today. So Bing Ads is now going to be called Microsoft Advertising. So rather than just being called Bing Ads, it's just going to be Microsoft Advertising because they're looking to expand some of their offerings even beyond search. Uh, so they announced the Audience Network last year. Um, so now they're kind of putting it all together so that Microsoft advertising is going to be known for not only their search advertising, but also some of their display advertising as well, in addition to their shopping and product listing ads. So if we scroll down here a little bit, you can see it was announced on April 29, 2019. Um, so about a year ago, they announced the Microsoft Audience Network as well. So you can see they're changing their name from Bing Ads to Microsoft Advertising. So it's gonna say many are already tapping into new advertising products that go above and beyond search, such as the Microsoft Audience Network. So that's really one of the big changes is they wanna talk about all the different advertising products that they have to offer to advertisers. So if we come over to our Bing Ads account, which will now be Microsoft Ads, and we click on it, you can see there's no real change to the interface just yet. Um, over to the top left-hand corner, you can see that the Bing Ads logo is now just Microsoft Advertising. So if you see any of our tutorials, they'll reflect Microsoft Advertising. We'll still probably use Bing Ads in the title just so people understand that um, because not everybody probably knows that the name change happened just yet. But if we come back over here, one of the big changes is going to be the audience network. So I opened up the page for the audience network here. They're still rolling this out to all advertisers. So you can opt into the audience network pretty easily when you're creating campaigns or with your existing campaigns. So the way to do that, if you're creating a campaign, as you get to step four, right before you launch your campaign, when you click on advanced campaign settings here, you're gonna automatically be opted into the audience ads. So you can either increase or decrease your bids. If you wanna decrease by 100% and avoid the audience network altogether, you can. Otherwise, you can increase by up to 900% for your bids. Um, so then your bids are a little bit higher on the audience network. Now you can also do this by opening up an existing campaign. So if we open an existing campaign here, click on settings, we scroll down a little bit, you can see under advanced campaign settings, under other settings, there's audience ads. So you just click on it and it's that simple. You can increase or decrease your bids for that as well. Now, if we come back over to the Microsoft Audience Network page, you can see that your ads are gonna be placed across premium websites like MSN, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Edge, and other partner websites. And I'll say they will blend naturally into your consumer's experiences. So they're gonna be somewhat like native ads. Now, right now, not everybody is allowed to run actual display ads through the Audience Network. So if we scroll down here to the bottom a little bit, you can see the Microsoft Audience ads supported by the Microsoft Audience Network. They have use responsive ads on your audience campaigns, but if we just click on the three here, you can see responsive ads are currently available only for the audience campaign management option in closed beta. So they're only available to certain advertisers at this time, but they should be rolled out to everyone, I'm guessing within the year. So you can see they're gonna have image-based ads and feed-based ads. So if you're using products, um, you can upload your feed there. And then you can also just use basic image-based ads. So the same thing that are available through Google Ads. So we'll have more tutorials out about all of this as they continue to roll out the Microsoft Audience Network advertisements. Now, one other thing, if we come over here, we scroll to the bottom. One of the other things that they've announced is sponsored products. So they already have Bing shopping ads, very similar to Google shopping ads, pretty much the same exact thing. Um, but now they're doing sponsored products as well. So it's saying made great strides in their shopping offer. So sponsored products are gonna allow manufacturers to actually work with the retailers to sponsor their products. So if we come over here to how it works, you can see two partners share the cost of advertising as they work to drive product sales through certain channels. So two partners are manufacturers and retailers or ad agencies and their clients. So you can see right here, so if you're a manufacturer for widgets, it's showing right here, and one of the dealers for your products is a website called Contoso. So it's saying Contoso wants to feature your widgets. They've approached you to partner on a marketing blitz for targeted ads designed to drive widget sales and conversions on their website. So you work in partnership with a manufacturer and you agree to share the cost of clicks on promoted products through an ad group and the partner's own ad group. So it's another way for manufacturers to work with retailers, to work with some of their dealers to actually promote some of their products. So it'll be very helpful for manufacturers who have new products that are trying to sponsor their products or existing products and they're trying to run a sale to 
to drive additional sales to their products. So if that actually applies to your business, uh, what you can do is request an invite through this form here. So you might wanna just check out this article. I'll put all these URLs in the video description, but I just wanna do a quick little video here. So a few big announcements from Bing Ads. So Bing Ads is now Microsoft Advertising. All of our tutorials will reflect that. You probably already knew that Bing Ads was owned by Microsoft, but they're just kind of com trying to combine everything else into one. Now, the main thing that wasn't really mentioned here is LinkedIn. So Microsoft does own LinkedIn. They power all of their advertising as well. So it'll be interesting to see some of their announcements with LinkedIn and Microsoft advertising as we continue to learn more about all their advertising options. So if you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section. I just want to give you a quick little, quick little news item so you can stay updated on Bing Ads, Microsoft, and understand all of your advertising options. Thanks for watching our video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.